Hey guys, Cameron here. I'm back once again in Rensselaer County, Rensselaer County, Rizzler County, however the heck it's pronounced. I'm gonna keep calling it Rizzler County, but uh, yeah, boys, like I said, I'm back in here once again doing another video on Rizzler County. You guys seem to really enjoy this game. Uh, I, whenever I'm streaming, you guys always want me to play, and uh, the last video I did, which was the video you guys saw before this, actually did really well. And uh, that was just an overview, a, a general overview of uh, Rensselaer County. But as you guys can see in this video, I'm going to be going over some secrets uh, and hidden features that you guys might not know about in uh, Rizzler County. Now, I'm sure if you guys play the game a lot that uh, you, you guys will know about most of these features. But for those of you who don't or just starting to play the game, I thought I'd make a cool little video on all the secret little hidden features and uh, stuff like that in here. Because there's actually a lot of cool things that... Um, I have found out in this game, and there's probably a bunch more that I don't know about. So if you guys do know about more hidden features, make sure to comment them down below uh, for other people to find out. But without further ado, let me start off with this first little cool hidden feature. So I need to get a different car. Give me a minute. Now, this feature is not on every car, but it is folding mirrors when you lock the doors. Now, I know it's on Teslas for a fact, but I don't know about any other cars. Now, I'm kind of broke. Oh, I can't even afford a Tesla. Give me a minute. All right, I just sold a bunch of my cars to get some money for this, for this freaking video, but... Anyways, here we go. So I'm going to do just the cheapest one because it has the same features on all of them. I'm going to get this uh, Rubble Drive base model Tesla Model 3 here. Now, I don't know what other cars this is on. If you guys know, let me know down below in the comments because I'm not trying to buy every car in the game and test it out because I'm kind of broke. So if you happen to have another car that does this, let me know down below in the comments. But you spawn the cars, you can see the mirrors are folded out. Uh, let me walk away from it. The mirrors are now folded out because the car is unlocked just like in, just like in real life. I'm going to hit this over here. I'm going to hit lock doors. Look at that. The mirrors freaking fold in when you lock the doors. That's so cool. Look. You can hear them. What does it sound? Listen. Sounds like a cow. Oh, that's so freaking cool. That is one cool, small little feature that you guys know. That is so freaking cool. That's one small little feature on uh, some cars in this game. I know it's on the Tesla. I don't know if it's on any of the cars. But, dude, let's just, let's just do that again. Hold on. Another cool feature with... Uh, the cars and stuff like that. There's a lot of cool features with the cars you guys might not know about. Um, okay, my car's locked, but the mirror's still folded in, so I gotta unlock it, and then it'll unfold. But, um, oh, gosh, I'm gonna need another person in here. Oh, give me a minute. Alright, so I'm getting some other people in here because I cannot test this out on my own. But, when your car is locked and somebody hits it, your car alarm will go off. So, I know all the time when you're in a public server or a private server, um, alarms are going off like crazy on cars, and sometimes it's not the person hitting the panic button. Sometimes it's just your car gets hit, um... When it's parked in a parking lot or something like that or some desync, whatever. But when the car is locked and parked and you're not in it, the alarm will go off. All right, see, so as you can see, my car is locked. Oh, that's locked. Oh, uh, that's unlocked. That's locked. Okay, so that's locked. Here we go. So I'm going to have somebody crash into my car and my alarm will go off. I thought that was a really cool feature. So if you're sitting inside of something and somebody hits your car or somebody tried to, like, break in or something like that, um, your alarm will go off. And holy people in this server. Oh! Also, that's, not, I guess, another cool feature. If you guys get ran over by a car, uh, you do get... And you get like a ragdoll state, which is kind of cool. But I don't... Yeah, like this, like this. Yep. Look, my alarm is going off now. Except... There's no honking or anything. Okay, but the alarm is clearly going off because my hazards are flashing and stuff like that. But there's just no horn on this car for some reason. So I'm going to get a different car. Yep. There it goes again. The alarm's going off. I don't... Oh, because I have alarms muted. Oh, 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 oh. If you go to gameplay, you can have vehicle alarms muted, which is kind of a nice feature. Yep, there... Okay, all right. Yep, 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 yep. But then how to... How to Stop that, you just lock the doors, unlock the doors. Just hit the button on your key fob little thing, and uh, it'll work. Oh, yep, everyone's smacking my car, so someone's probably gonna hit me again. So give it a minute, watch. My alarm's gonna go off, somebody hits me. This person's gonna big old dress. Oh, all right. Yep, there we go, alarm is going off now. That's so cool. I love that feature, I love that feature. That is, on a, like, all the little features in this game are so cool, and I'm sure there's a ton more that I just have no idea about. Um, that I just have not found out that, but that's what this video is for. If there is some cool features, let me know down below in the comments. Also, another thing, I don't know if a lot of you know about this, but if you go to gameplay and you go to driving, I'm sure this is kind of like a, like an obvious little feature. You got lane departure warning assist and forward collision avoidance assist. So, this is like AEB, like uh, automatic braking. Uh, and the lane departure assist is if you get out of your lane, it'll kind of, uh, alert you and stuff like that. Now, not all cars have that feature. It is only on select cars and like newer cars and stuff like that that would have it. In real life, so like an older, older stinky car would not have it. But um, I'm gonna try the Tesla because I'm sure this Tesla will have out all these features. Oh my! Oh yep, there's the Ford, uh, Ford Collision Avoidance Assist. It says brake right there, and the car will brake for you. But a uh, problem with that is it'll come to a complete stop. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go try the lane departure. Yep, there it is. I, I kind of wish it would correct you because I know in real life, um, on uh, more advanced cars that have it, um, if you get out of lane, it it'll like uh, correct it for you, and it'll get in the lane, basically drive itself, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see at the bottom, whenever I get out of the lane, like, I'm gonna go to the left. 
here. Yep, it's notifying me that I'm out of the lane, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to get in front of this person here. All right. I always like to have that feature off because, hold on, let me try this. It actually works really well, but with desync, it kind of sucks because then your car's just going to get stopped in the middle of the road. So I was like, I'll be driving out the highway like 70 miles an hour and desync will happen and my car will just fully stop, which that's the system working, but it just completely stops me in the middle of the highway and then it'll just cause uh, a worse situation. So I always like to have this off. Um, now, to be honest, I'm not too sure what this is. I feel like this is the Ford Avoidance Collision Assist, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really know, but I'm going to test it out right now. So this is it disabled. Yep, that is it off. So if you don't want the Ford Avoidance uh, system on on a certain time, like you like it, but you don't want it on at a certain time, you can hit the U button. This is U, and it'll turn off the Ford Collision Avoidance System. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I always like to have this off because um, it's just super annoying when having um, like role playing and desync and stuff like that. It's just super annoying. Now another thing on here, I guess we could go over is parking sensors, which is kind of cool. I've never seen a game have this. I've never seen a game have uh, lane departure warning assist or like uh, parking sensors, which is actually kind of cool. So I'm sure you guys can infer what parking systems, parking sensors are. If you get too close to something, it'll start beeping at you. Shut up. I got my freaking seatbelt. I had to rejoin the game because there's people everywhere and I could not do the video. I'm sorry to everyone who joined, but I appreciate everybody for joining at the same time because you guys helped me test out that one feature. But now we are back and uh, we're on the topic of um... Uh, parking sensors and everything like that. So, like, listen, like, li uh, hold on a second. Yep, I mean, there's a parking sensor right there. So, hold on, watch this. I'm gonna go back up to this wall right here. And the closer I get to the wall, the more you'll hear it beep. So, watch this, watch this, listen. Actually, here, let me just back up to this wall so I don't have to get up at the curb. But, check this out, check this out. So, we have parking sensors. You can obviously disable them, but listen, listen, listen. See, I'm getting closer. And the closer I get, the louder it'll beep and faster. Yep, there we go. And there's also the, uh, it'll avoid braking if I um, get too close. Which I kind of did there, but then I just kind of overrided it and kept going, and then it just was like, all right, have fun with that one. So that's actually really cool. Now, I don't think by hitting U, that disables it. I'm pretty sure that's just for the Ford Avoidance, Ford Collision Avoidance System. Maybe not. So maybe that's all of the safety features disabled right here is this button. Because now I don't have any parking sensors. But then if I hit the button again, yeah, they turn on. Okay, so I'm pretty sure U just disables all safety features, because I have them all enabled except Ford Avoidance Ford collision avoidance. I don't want that. But as you guys see, I just tested the parking sensors and I hit you and then it turned it off. So I'm pretty sure that is for every single um, safety feature. It's actually kind of cool. So if you guys do not want any of those uh, safety features on at a certain time, it turns them off. See, not even lane departure. I'm going to turn it back on. And now I have lane departure. Now, another thing I'm sure you guys know is the car wash. Now, the car wash actually talks to you. Why does this thing actually move? What? I got the base roller drive. This thing moves. Anyways, um, the car wash actually talks to you. I'm sure if you guys saw that uh, my my first video on this game, you guys heard the car wash talking to you and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do it again for the people who maybe did not see that. So here we go. Welcome to the Auto Clean Car Wash Express Tunnel. Please select a payment method by clicking any of the buttons or by driving up to the sensor in front of you to open the gate. There we go. I'm hit Extreme Wash. There we go. Welcome to the auto and there it was. Oh, there's my, uh, I'm pretty sure that's my, because that's not, that's got to be like parking sensors and stuff. What is it? What is it? What is it seeing? Is that parking sensors like stopping me? That is parking sensors stopping me. Okay. That is annoying. Don't guys never turn off your settings with it beeping in the middle because it's just going to mess up. Okay. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. That is the parking sensor. So if you get too close to something, parking sensor will stop you. But there's nothing there. So there is some little glitches with that. So next really cool feature that I found, actually. Hold on. For this one, you're going to need it to be nighttime. Okay. So with this feature, it needs to be nighttime. So check this out. L l let's just go through a scenario here. You're like, oh, you know, look at this. I'm, I'm going to pull up to uh, I'm gonna pull up to Vorzen at night. F f at one in the morning for some reason. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to park right here. All right. So check this out. Check this out. Your car lights stay on when you get out of the car. But if you lock the doors, see that mirrors fold in. I'm pretty sure the lights will turn off after a little bit, just like real life. Like in real life, some cars, yep, look at that. Lights turn off after a little bit after you lock the doors, which is so freaking cool. Like in real life, some cars lights stay on uh, after you lock them uh, for a little bit and then they'll turn off automatically, which is so freaking cool. I think that's the coolest feature. And I'm so glad that they added this in the freaking game. That's insane. And then same thing when you unlock the doors, look at that. The lights come on. 
the lights come on when you unlock your doors, and I'm pretty sure they stay on. Okay, so if you leave your car unlocked, your lights will stay on for forever. I know some of you guys have noticed, like, when you're driving up to a place, your lights are on auto. You pull up, and your lights don't turn off. Your lights are still on. But you have to lock your doors, and you could do it again for them to turn off instantly. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. Unlock your doors, lights turn on, boom. As the... I, I think that's gotta be the... Oh, my lights just turned off again. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. When you unlock your doors, your lights stay on forever, which is really freaking cool. But I lock them. Lock it again. My lights turn off. That's Dude, that's such a cool feature. It's literally just like real life. It's gotta be one of the coolest features. That's only at night when your lights are on auto and your lights are on and stuff like that. Gotta be the coolest thing. Now, I wish they had like key fobs. Like you get key fobs in your inventory. Honestly, no. At the same, I don't want my inventory to get filled with key fobs and, and other stuff. I kind of like how this uh, little simple key thing is on the side of your screen. Except... I kind of wish that the buttons were on the same side of the screen. Like, you had this key button and it popped down below. Or this key button was over here. And you clicked it, it popped down below. Because then I got to click this. It's just... First world problems. I got to click this and then drag my mouse all the way over here to lock and unlock. Kind of a pain after a while of using it. But that is one thing I do wish they would maybe change. Just put the key thing. Put this right below the button so then you don't have to travel your mouse so far. Still, nonetheless, that is such a cool feature. So my car's unlocked right now. No, it's actually locked. Um, next feature, actually, I'm going to make it daytime. Um, next feature, actually, you guys can see this little collision system down here. So after it gets to a certain point of uh, damage, uh, which I'm pretty sure is maxed. Oh my god, why is this thing actually kind of fast? What? All right, so I'm just going to absolutely just bash the crap up out of this car and show you guys what I'm talking about here. By the way, also, all of the buttons for these little things down here. So you got U for the safety features to disable them, T for traction control, Y for ABS, and I'm pretty sure that is it, then B is the seatbelt. But I'm pretty sure those are the only buttons uh, that you can toggle on screen. If there's anyone, let me know down below in the comments. All right, so car's now fully damaged. And as you guys can see, we got my check engine light on. I'm gonna turn all this stuff back on. But as you guys can see, I have the check engine light on now with the car fully damaged. And this is the most damage you can do. You can't even do any more than this, no matter what stuff you hit. Oh, there's that. So I'm gonna turn the car off. I'm gonna get out, and then I'm gonna get back in it and try to start it. Sometimes, Okay, this one started, but this is also a Tesla, so I don't know if it's just going to start every time, even though it's damaged. The main point behind this feature is sometimes if, you, if your car is fully damaged, um, your car will not want to start a couple times. It, it'll start, but you just have to keep trying. So I'm going to turn it off, get out, just keep trying it until it works. I probably should not have done this on this, but... Oh, yeah, so this is almost damaged. Just a check engine light, and the car is not fully damaged. So l let me just damage it a little bit more, just in case. Okay, so the car's fully damaged now. So let me show you guys what I mean. So I turn the car off, I'll get out, and then I'm going to get back in it, and I'm going to try to start it, and... Yep, it didn't start. It said, vehicle failure to start due to damage. Please get the vehicle serviced immediately. And, and you can just keep... Okay, yeah, see, it took it, it took me, like, what, two or three times to start the car that time? That is what happens when your vehicle is fully damaged when you got a clapped-out monkey box. So that, I, I thought that was actually a really cool feature. So... If your car's fully damaged, go get you gotta go get it serviced, so it'll start every time. But I kinda wish there were more features. Like if your car is too damaged, like it won't start at all, and you gotta get like a tow truck, you gotta get it towed. Maybe that's a feature to come because uh they do have tow trucks. Oh, but if your car is fully damaged, unable to start, um, they still have it where you can get a tow truck, call a tow truck, have them tow you to a repair shop, and then you can repair your car and then you're on your way. I think that'd actually be really cool. So I'm gonna try it again. Okay, sometimes the car starts every time, but every couple times of trying to start your car, it won't start, and you gotta keep trying it. But I thought that was actually really cool. But that is going to be it for all of the cool hidden features that I have found in Rizzler County. If there are any of the other features that I have not mentioned or that I have not shown you guys, let me know down below in the comments and I'll like pin it, like it, and uh, do all that stuff. But that's all the cool little features I found. Now, that's just some really cool features. The small features are what make a game. Like the folding mirrors and the lights and unlocking and locking the cars are super cool. And I love how the car fails to start when it's fully damaged. I thought that was super cool. But, uh, yeah, boys, like I said, if you guys have any other features that I missed, let me know down below in the comments. But, uh, yeah, boys, expect more Rizzler County videos. I definitely want to do some RP videos because I have not done any RP videos on this game yet. So, that is definitely to come in the future. But, uh, yeah, boys, I appreciate every single one of you for watching this good old Rizzler County video. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!